Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing something slightly different for this channel. I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial for going out on an evening. I've done this look twice. I've done it to go and see Rocky Horror Show in the theatre and I've done it just on a night out with the girls in town. And it's unbelievably easy. Even someone with very questionable skills in regards to eye makeup can do it. Um, so perfect for me because I'm hopeless at this sort of stuff, but we shall get started. And the first product we're going to use is the Benefit Professional um, Primer, which claims to be oil-free, lightweight, and translucent, translucent, and it minimises pores. But more importantly for my skin, it gets rid of any shine that might show up across the evening. So I'm going to dab a little bit of this onto the back of my hand. And I really don't need a lot of this because I just use it for my T-zone to because that's the main place that gets shiny on my skin. So I'm just going to dab a couple of spots onto the skin and try and cover all the problem areas. And then I'm just going to blend that in with a buffing brush. And then once that is blended in, I like to put on my concealer next, although if you do it the other way around, feel free to do it that way around. I've got the Boeing Concealer by Benefit in 01, and this is just such a brilliant concealer because it is such a heavy duty concealer. I'm just going to tap this onto the areas that you need to cover up. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of problem skin around the jaw and around my lips and a little bit along my cheekbones going up into my hairline. So I'm just going to cover those up and the reason I do this is um, this way around is just because I don't have to worry as much about blending it in because I tend to find on my skin if I try and blend things in too much they actually just disappear. And so I pat it on before my foundation and then blend everything together with the foundation. So I'm just putting that under the eyes and on any, on any blemishes that you might have. Um, and then we'll move on to the foundation. And because I want a really radiant glowing look um, for this look because we're going out, um, I'm going to be using the YSL um, Touche Clap Foundation. And again, I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this onto the back of my hand like that and then take the fingers and dot it onto the skin so we can buff it in with the buffing brush, buffing brush. so now that's all onto the skin we're just going to buff it in I just love how light this foundation is on my skin because it still lets my skin, skin breathe and it has a really good long lasting coverage. Let's say it's probably in the region of light to medium but it is very very build buildable if you need it to be. Now that's all blended in, I'm going to move on to my finishing powder. This is just a sample of the BM Dewy Perfecting Powder. Um, perfecting, yeah, Dewy Perfecting Powder. Um, and I'm just going to tap this onto the cheekbones, down the nose, and onto the forehead. All with the same brush that I've used for my pri my primer and my foundation. And then we have the fun bit. We're going to start with the eyes. So the colours I'm using for this look are this golden colour here in the middle in this Maybelline palette, which is the Coral Drama palette. 
and then I'm going to be using Crave from the Naked Basics palette just because that's a really really good matte, matte black colour that really flatters the shimmer in the golden colour so we're going to start off with the golden colour um, typically I would use an eye primer before this however mine has gone walkabout so just insert that step yourself if you unlike me can actually find yours I'm just going to tap this onto the brush and then pat it onto the eyelid. And you can do this look with any eye colour, or any base colour for the inside of your eye that you want. I use gold because it's the colour I use because it suits my dress most. But I've also tried it with this pinkish coral colour and that works incredibly well as well and I'd imagine it will with both or with a number of colours just with how simple this is to do. And so once you've built up the colour to a sort of pigmentation and consistency that you'd like, you move on to the other eye. You will note I am significantly better at doing my right eye than I am doing my left eye. I'm not sure why this is, but such is life. So once you've got your inside colour on, I'm going to move on to the outside of my eye with my small tamper, there, my small taper bend, blending brush from Sigma. Um, these are an absolute godsend as far as people that are hopeless with eye makeup. And you're just going to pat this into the crease and the outside corner of your eye. I tend to start off lighter and build it up rather than risking putting too much on in one go as it's just so much easier to work with a smaller amount of colour at a time. I'm not going to focus too much on the lash line because I have got an eyeliner to go along the lash line. So we're just going to focus on blending this to get the, the desired look from this. And again, we move on to the other eye. I'm just dusting my brush up on my arm to get a cleaner brush to blend this out a bit. Because this side is a little bit darker than the other side. Bring my finger along there to try and catch any excess. And then, as you can see there, they're kind of equal, so that's what you're looking for. And then, if you want to go in and intensify the inside colour, then you can do that. I am um, just to give you the same sort of effect that I had when I went to Rocky Horror Show when this one when this inside colour was so so bright. And this will be a treat for the people that I'd been to Rocky Horror and on this night out with because it was so dark in both locations that no one could see my face. And then we're just going to go in with the eyeliner. This is the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. I'm just going to draw lightly along the lash line.
and then drawing it out into a little flip at the end there. I have to pull this eye out to be able to do this eye because I can do it on one eye but I can't on the other. I'm not entirely sure why but it seems to be the case. So there we've got the eyeliner. Mine's went a little bit wrong at the top of there but I tend to find if I practice a little bit more beforehand I am better at it. So then we're going to take the eyelash colours, give them, give your eyelash a quick squeeze, but not too hard, to just put a little bit of a curl into the lash. And then again on that side, and then we're going to go in with the mascara. I've got a little sample tube of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Um, which is probably getting close to drying out now because I've had it for ages. But we're just going to brush the eyelashes up. Just to give a bit of a wow to the eyelashes. And there we have the eyes done. And the last step is your lips. Um, I've tried this with so many different lip products at the moment. Um, but my favourite one is the Rimmel Apocalypse in Big Bang. Just because it's easy to apply and the colour is absolutely gorgeous. And there we go, that is the finished makeup look. And I hope you all enjoy it. Um, I will see you all for my next video, which will be um, probably a get ready with me video. Um, and I'll see you all then. Bye bye. It depends on when my glossy box gets fixed. It might be one of those videos. And I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching.